Matthew 7 and 15, Jesus speaking, Beware of false prophets. He is telling us to be on the lookout, to beware of the false prophets. In the Bible, in the New Testament, Paul and Jesus, they all refer to even Peter, to beware of false teachers, false apostles, and false prophets. He says, they come to you in sheep's clothing. That is, they look so innocent, so pure, so nice, so kind, so gentle. But he says, inwardly, they are ravenous wolves. Ravenous wolves. They are going to destroy. They're going to disrupt. They're going to divide. They're going to steal. They're going to devour. He says, you will recognize them not by how they look, their appearance, their haircut, their, their clothing, their attire, their whatever accessories they've got, their speech. He says, you, not, that's not how you recognize. He says, you recognize them by their fruits. What have they produced? What do they have um, sort of in their resume to say, you know, I've done this for the Lord. I've raised up this church. I've passed up this church. I, I planted these other churches. These people have come up under my ministry and they're now ministering also. Or what is going on in their family? Their relationship with their husband or wife, um, with their children. Um, what is the testimony they've got? He says, you will recognize them by their fruits. He says, are grapes gathered from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? No, 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 that doesn't happen. He says, so every healthy tree bears good fruit. But the diseased tree bears bad fruit. In other words, a good tree will bring good fruit. A bad tree will bring bad fruit. A healthy tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a diseased tree bear good fruit. No, that's not going to happen. And he continues by saying this, every tree that does not bear good fruit is going to be cut down and thrown into the fire. And you should maybe first the fire, he's talking about hellfire. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is going to be cut down and thrown. So there are people that God is cutting down, people who misrepresent him, people who teach um, false uh, theology, and um, they're deceiving others. God eventually has a way of dealing with them. They're cut down and thrown into the fire. He says, thus you will recognize them by their fruits. So let's not be drawn away by how charismatic people are, how wonderful their personality, their jokes, or, you know, their eloquence or anything like that. Look at their fruits. Amen.